Today we are putting a automatic chain tensioner in this 2001 Harley Twin Cam. Make sure you read all the instructions and stuff which I have. And you just start out by undoing this nut here and then you pull the whole tensioner out. Okay, the next step in our process is to install this auto tensioner bracket and all you do is you hook it back behind the chain and you use the original carriage bolt that's in there. Okay, the next step in this process is to take your auto tensioner and mount it to these holes on the bracket with the provided bolts that come in the kit. Those bolts he just put in, uh, they had lock patch on there, which is a real popular thing Harley Davidson does. I'm not a huge fan of lock patch on some things because the fact like the, the manufacture date on this box was over three years old. Okay, the next step in this process is to uh, measure the slack in the top of this chain with the tensioner. I found it really easy to put a sharpie mark across the two inch and the one inch mark because we're supposed to have an inch of free slack on the top. Then you take your rule and you push the chain down and you line up the bottom line and then you push up and line up the top line and this is pretty much as good as it gets because our tensioner is on the lowest spot. Okay now that we have our chain slack up here set we're just going to tighten this bolt up and torque it to 21 to 29 foot pounds and then we're going to torque these uh, bolts down to 17 to 19 foot pounds. Okay, the next step in our process is to cut this zip tie here and then remove this plate. All right, here's the only hiccup we really had with this installation is that uh, when those bolts are torqued down that you see there, you it pinches the zip tie against that back bracket and there's no way to get it out. We had to break them free. Another reason I don't like lock patch is because you're not supposed to, once you torque a bolt with lock patch, remove it without applying Loctite. Okay, to check and make sure this tensioner is installed properly, you need to flex the top of the chain. And you see how the tensioner is moving up and down? That means it does not need to be taken back off and lowered down any. Here's a quick little demonstration of how you would know you would need to adjust that bracket. See the big gap between the sets of saw teeth there, if you will? That means that you need to adjust that bracket. You can see in the first video that it just moved nicely with no gap show you the old one that we pulled out. Now this bike had 38,000 miles on it and we do not know if this is the original tensioner that came with the bike or if it has been replaced. But you can really see those defined grooves in there from when that chain rode all the time and uh, you need to really think about where does this plastic go when it wears out. These plastic chunks will go into the this cover and float around in there with this gear and the clutch and stuff like that and that's why it's really important to make sure you change your oil regularly.